How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to read input from the console in Rust. So first we're going to use the standard IO module. So up here we'll just, um, we'll just type out use standard IO and that will uh, give us access to the standard in struct or stream. So now we can go inside the main function and declare a new string. Now this variable will uh, basically contain the input that was read from the console. So we can type out let mut input equals string and then new. So we're going to actually read all the input from the console into this input string variable. But first we need to prompt the user and tell them to actually, you know, input something. So we can say print line, hey mate. Uh, say something All right, so now they'll see this then they can start typing So to actually get the input we're going to use a match statement I'm going to type out match io standard in Dot read line and then pass in a mutable reference to input so with this line right here, what's happening is uh, we're going to uh, use the, or you know, uh, what do you call, uh, call the, the input stream here and then call the read line method on that and we're going to pass in the line that was read and basically feed it into the input variable up here. But this actually will return a result and the result could be either a success or a failure. So using the match statement, we're going to do some things here to basically say what happens when it was okay and what happens when there was an error. So we're going to say okay. Now inside here, usually, well in the Rust documentation, they put down B right here and that will give us access to the number of bytes that was read. But in our case that's not relevant, so we're just going to say underscore. And that underscore will ignore that um, that variable or that value right there. We can then say equals greater than. Use curly braces right here, and say print line success. You said, and we're just going to pass in input just like that. So it was just it was, so it was a success, and you said, and then input. But if it was a failure, if it doesn't work, we're going to say error. E, so this E is the actual error, so you know what went wrong. I'm going to say uh, print line, oops, something went wrong, and just give it the error just like that. Alright, let's now run this and see what happens. Type in cargo run, press enter, and it says, hey mate, say something. I'm going to say, hey, you going? Oh, hold on. How are you going? Here we go. How are you going? My name is Dom. Press enter. Success, you said. How are you going? My name is Dom. Now, just for the sake of the example, we're going to go to input right here and just say to uppercase. Just to express the fact that input is actually a string. So we can call methods on the input now. We'll try this one more time. We'll type in cargo run, press enter. And we can say hello, press enter, and we get hello, our input in uppercase. That is how you can read a line using Rust. Thank you for watching and see you later.